We are in Thornton, Ontario, just south of Barrie, where we are going to be visiting a wellness center with yoga studios, as well as a restaurant that has organic and vegetarian fare. Let's go inside and check it out. Kim Vidya and Kim, whereabouts are we right now? We are at the Vidya Center for Yoga and Wellness. Upstairs we have our overnight retreat center. We have sleeping for 10 people up here, four bedrooms. Massage room where we would do uh, registered massage therapy. We have Reiki uh, and other forms of energy healing such as cranial sacral therapy. It's a two person sauna made in Canada uh, with non-toxic glues and non-toxic wood. So it's a very, very luxurious type of sauna with the infrared rays, helps to increase the serotonin in the brain, making you feel really, really good and at the same time detoxifying the body. What is yoga? Yoga is an ancient tradition that is actually a philosophy uh, more so than a physical practice. The physical practice is an extension or a limb of uh, what yoga is really all about. And the idea of yoga is to calm the mind, to center the mind, to balance the mind so that you can be more peaceful. You can do yoga in your backyard, you can do it in your living room, you can do it in your car. What we see on the cover of magazines and what we see on TV can be intimidating for a lot of people, especially for people who are maybe not so able-bodied or older people. And yes, yoga is for anyone. As long as you can move your body and think for yourself, you can practice yoga. You don't have to be flexible in order to do yoga, but you become flexible because you do yoga. I would really love it if you could possibly show me a couple of basic moves for, uh, for yoga. That would be great. Absolutely. All right, Kim, you've got me on that. What are we going to do today? Well, I thought we could start with tree pose. Okay. It's a great balancing pose. It helps to strengthen the legs. It helps to strengthen the core um, and also helps to open the hips a little bit. So what we'll do first is I'll mirror you. So starting with grounding into your right foot, we're going to root down into the big toe and spread the toes out. Now we've got three choices for the left foot. So we could either place it on the inside of the ankle and if we do that, that just gives us a little bit of a, a toe balance. Next choice would be lower leg, so under the knee. And other choice would be above the knee. So that would be the more intermediate advance. So why don't we start here. Pick a spot on the floor. So rather than looking at me, pick a spot on the floor in front of you and keep the eyes fixed there. So I'm gonna look at the edge of your mat. And then we're gonna draw the knee out to the side and that's what helps to open the hips a little bit. So once you feel grounded, then reach up. So we're gonna reach the fingertips up towards the sky, engage the core, remember to breathe, we always want the breath to be flowing with ease. And then open the arms out. And then if you like, you could sway naturally with the body. So keeping that grounded foundation through the standing leg. Take a deep, full breath in and out. Beautiful. And relax. Oh. Well done. How about another one? What else can we do? And press back, very gently pressing back. And relaxing. I am so relaxed. And you know what? Me too. The best thing about this place is that we can go have something to eat. That's right. Kim, would you mind making me something a little special in the I kitchen? I would love to. Excellent. So let's go get freshened up. All right. And I'll meet you there. We had a great yoga session, didn't we? We did. It we was a lot of fun. It was. And I really love your dining room. It's, uh, it's quite an old world feeling. Uh, we get a lot of compliments on that, actually. It's just very warm and welcoming.
So let's talk a little bit about the food. I wanted to create a place that I wanted to go to because I was, I was very frustrated with there not being many places that you can actually go, I could go and eat a meal that was gluten-free, vegan or vegetarian, uh, and organic. When this location came up for the yoga studio, I said to myself, what a great opportunity to build something and create something that I would want to go to and I know many, many others as well. Uh, we are planning on making our Thai Malaysian noodles today. I often recommend this dish to the meat eaters. The flavor is delicious and uh, I have many meat eaters that return time and time again for this dish. So let's go and uh, bring this paste and these mushrooms and we'll go and make this dish. Excellent, let's okay. do it. So we're back in Vidya's kitchen and we've got someone with us, Kim. Yes, I would like to introduce Matthew, otherwise known as Matt. He's our sous chef and kitchen manager here and he's going to be helping us cook the Thai Malaysian noodles. So they're made with beans, uh, mung beans and edamame beans. And they are quite delicious and chewy. Mm -hmm. And this is our special sauce here. The shiitake mushroom, do we put it in whole like that? No, actually I was thinking that you could work for your meal a little bit here uh -huh. and help us to cut those mushrooms. All right, I've cut my mushrooms, now what? Where do they go? So now we're going to saute the mushrooms and the veggies. Very good. All right, let's get started. It smells lovely. I smell that sesame oil. Yes. Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Matthew, can I get a taste? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, yum. Kim, this looks Absolutely amazing, the textures and the colors. Mm. It's chewy and, it, and it's like a Thai flavor. Thank you for having me for dinner and for the yoga session. Thank you so much for coming, it's been my pleasure. Wonderful, and if you ever want to visit Vidya Center and have a one-stop wellness shop, Come on by, it's in Thornton, Ontario. We'll see you soon. <laughs>